What's up? It's your girl Alyssa coming to you with a fresh head of hair and let's get into how I curl it and get it popping. Okay, so I'm going to start out with the Design Essentials Silk Elements. It's like a silkening agent and it coats the hair. It is heat protectant as well and I do like this product. It is about $30 but you do get a lot of product because you don't need to use a lot every time you um, you know, apply it or use it. Then I'm just going to go ahead and comb it through. So you want to make sure you comb through all the products that you put on your hair all the time. And you know I need to brush my taper grow. You have to brush. Even though I really don't brush my hair that often. I should start brushing it more. You know, like how the men be. That's why they be having them ways because they brush it all the time. Anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and part it. I'm taking small sections at a time, and I'm gonna clean off my flat irons first because they be dirty. You know, like if you do your hair in the mist, you might need a little curl after you washed your hair a while ago. You do need to wipe them off. So I'm just gonna take my flat irons and do some tight curls. So the key here is just I'm gonna curl it really tight so it can be big and curly and just popping at the end. And I make sure to curl every single strand of hair tight. Like not just the top of my hair and not just the, you know, the shorter part. We need to curl all of it, just a tighter curl than usual. Yeah girl, it needs to be on 450 with this hair of mine, okay? So I'm just gonna keep pretty much just curling it really tight. It's not gonna look that good from the beginning, but as we go on, you will see it's gonna come all together. And I'm basically just gonna let you guys watch me go ahead and curl. I will jump in with a tip or two whenever necessary, but I'm gonna move to the other side and yeah, let's go. So at this point, I've made the decision to go ahead and pull majority of my hair in this direction. So I never really like start my hair like, okay, I want to swoop to the right, swoop to the left, middle part. I just really start and however it ends up is how my hair is going to be for this time around, which that's the, um, the great part about this hairstyle. I can comb it to either side, front, back. And it is just still give me some type of life, which is why my hair has been cut like this for so long because it's kind of easy to maintain. I'm really just taking the flat irons and just curling it, just twisting it, girl. Twist the wrist. Look at the flick of the wrist, yes. And as long as you got some good products and a good flat iron, then you can get some cute curls and just keep trying. Like, I just didn't pop out the womb knowing how to do these curls, girl.
So yeah, at this point, I'm just gonna part it because I want some hair going to the other side just to pull the style together and give it a little bit of personality. So now I'm gonna grab my, um, what is this, like a feather comb? I always call it a feather comb. I don't know if it has like a technical name, but a feather comb, this comb, you can find at your nearest beauty supply. They might have one on Amazon. If I find one, I'll link it below, but I'm sure you guys have seen this at the beauty supply. And then I'm just gonna style it, you guys, and this is the final look. Like comb it how you want. You can use your fingers. Um, you can spray some holding spray on it if you want to. Now, I'm not gonna do that because it curls. They're gonna last with the products that I use in my hair is being like trained. But this is what it looks like in the bag. And yeah, I hope you guys like it. Give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up really helps your girl out a lot. So show your girl some love. And this is the final, final look. I did post a makeup tutorial on this. Yes, girl, so watch that next. It will be linked above, linked below, and holla at your girl.